Your ancestors were involved in a sex scandal of such monumental proportions that even scientists are still gossiping about it. The thing is, you're not the only one. In this video, I'll be going through the sex lives of our prehistoric ancestors and how they might have strayed further than we'd like to remember. See, the most accepted scientific theory is that our species, Homo sapiens, came from Africa around 300,000 years ago. After getting used to the swing of things, acquiring an itch for exploration and a few failed ventures, they finally managed to leave the continent about 60,000 years ago, finding our ancient cousins in the process the Neanderthals. Oh, and we liked what we saw. They're bigger, stronger, and with thicker bones, so as our brains met their brawn, a sapien Neanderthal mattress explosion with no bed creates the humans outside of Africa as we know them today. We are now forever widowed though, as the last Neanderthals went extinct around 40,000 years ago, even though their DNA lives on inside us. That's because one to 4% of our genetic code is Neanderthal DNA. Let's not feel too sorry for ourselves for losing our cousin mates though, since if history tells us anything, then we might just have had something to do with it. These archaic games of hide the pickle didn't stop there either, as we very much kept our options open. Homo Denisovans was one of those options of which more than 6% of Southeast Asian modern human DNA comes from. What did they smell like? Why did our ancestors go for them instead of each other? And if so many modern humans originated from them, then why do we only know about their existence from a jaw and a pinky finger found in a Siberian cave? Just in case you're not in existential crisis about what it means to be human yet, wait until you hear this. Some of our ancestors probably mated with gorillas. Tarzan and Jane conveniently forgot to mention that one. Am I right? Also, we know this because of lice, but not just any lice, pubic lice. See, us humans are pretty unique as mammals in the sense that we have two different type of lice that live on us, head lice and pubic lice. This is because of how geographically separate they are, well, for most of our bodies. Now, our pubic lice are surprisingly similar to that of gorillas. Some scientists argued that we could have just picked up these lice by laying in gorilla nests for too long, but that's like the ex who still insists she caught chlamydia from the toilet seat. Before you decide to identify as another species though, you need to know that this likely happened about 3 million years ago. In fact, there's an ancient ape human gorilla hybrid fossil called Lucy that has been discovered from around then called Australopithecus. Lucy, you cheeky monkey. Fast forward to our city slicker days and genetic evidence is even showing that we've also mated with a bunch of hominids who we haven't even discovered yet. Now there's a serious possibility that at the time of our ancestral indiscretions, humans hadn't even developed language yet, but I'm almost certain that this is where every holes of gold came from. How about that for perspective? <laughs> now, just in case you've managed to keep your breakfast down, you can give your brain a good cleanse with this video. 